All right, so I'm dirty and the pan is clean, but it's all ready to go back together. And uh, we're about to put this on and fill it up with fluid. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the Real World Garage. This is Gavin here today, and we're servicing the transmission in my 1968 Ford Country sedan. Y'all come over here and take a look at this book, and we will go over a few things we need to cover before we get started. This is an original 1968 shop manual for all Fords for that model year. Uh, my grandfather bought this for me, and it is the absolute Bible on this car. Um, here on the first page, it tells us how to read our VIN code. On uh, the last digit here is your transmission code. Um, they came with two options for this car in the uh, for the for the FE motors and um, This one has the X code which means is an it is an FMX transmission um, So you just need to be looking for the FMX parts for I do for the um, transmission filter and uh, Gasket so with that let's get started Hey guys, I just wanted to cover one other quick way you can tell the difference between an FMX and a C6 trans in these cars um, so we looked on Rock Auto and we're doing some research and me and dad noticed that there was a difference in the pan gaskets. So the C6 will have a perfectly square pan, but the FMX has a notch right here on the gasket and the pan. Um, that's just another way to tell, you know, your VIN code is a good indicator, but somebody could have swapped it down the road somewhere. So this is a good way to just be extra sure that you're getting the right part when you're doing your project. All right, so the first step in doing this is making sure we have a clean surface to work with. I'm going to reuse the fluid that's in it. So when I drain it, I need to make sure it's clean and there's not going to be any particulate getting in the fluid. Um, so I just have a screwdriver and a flat blade here and I am going to scrape it and clean it. And then I'm going to use some purple power, a brush and some water to finish cleaning it up. And then I'm going to unbolt the pan, drain the fluid. And we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, we're just going to bust these loose. Um, if anybody's working along with me, it's a uh, half-inch socket on these. Guys, we're getting ready to see it start to come out there. Just keep working it out. Start the video. 
Now she's draining. You started? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We're just going to let it sit there and drain for a little while and come back in a little bit. All right. Here we go. Getting ready to take the last couple bolts out. Things are getting a little slick under here with all this transmission fluid. They can be a little tricky. That's one way to do it. We'll edit this part out. Why are you being so finicky? There we go. Okay, let's pan, set it to the side here. And it looks pretty clean in there. All right, so we got the pan off and um, got all the fluid drained out of it. Did this really impromptu today, so we don't even have brake clean, but um, I'm wiping it off with a, a good rag here. You wanna make sure extra care goes into making sure there's no debris, nothing in here. Uh, I'm gonna scrape this gasket surface real quick. I've already done it on the car. Um, got rain coming, so we're trying to work a little fast, but just gonna take this X-Acto blade here and get a good contact surface for that gasket before we put it all back together. All right, so I'm dirty and the pan is clean, but it's all ready to go back together. And uh, we're about to put this on and fill it up with fluid. So stay tuned. All right, so I got to look around when we pulled the old uh, filter out and get ready to put the new one in. And um, so this kit from Rock Auto did come with an O-ring and it does not look like we're gonna need this O-ring for this application. Sometimes, you know, different transmissions might use the same filter, but um, go in, fit differently. This one does not need this part though. So for the FMX, you will not need an O-ring. Uh, it is just a filter. It goes, slides back up in here. And you have a, um, let me find it. Oh yeah, here you go. Have this little clip here. So we're gonna just slide this back up. Let's see, keep that there. Let's see. Make sure we get this in here the right way. That feels pretty snug. Let's uh, see, we're hooked. Here. And then it just snaps on. There we go. All right. Filters back in there and uh, ready to rock. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready to slide this back up in here. Oh, that's good. Send the bolt flying. Son of a bitch. Start over. Alright guys, had a little technical difficulty getting it started back up in there, but um, everything's going to rock and we're going to finish putting these in here and uh, fill it up with fluid, so stay with us.
as you can see, the rain moved in. Um, I didn't get to do my recap video earlier because of the rain. So um, we got her full fluid and um, obviously got her moved down the hill. Uh, runs good, drives good, no slipping. So um, stay tuned. We're going to do some more work. We're going to get these brakes going, put some uh, bushings in up on the front end, get all that tuned up, dialed up, and uh, hopefully get her down the road. So thanks for watching. And he won't look like an idiot with the clunk clunk. I know. Hard.